Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over the badge component in Matil UI because we are in the Krusty Krab and the Krusty Krab's mission is to make sure we cover every single Matil UI component. Now, I first stumbled across the badge component because I was reviewing and doing my video on the avatar component and as you can see here in the avatar component they have some cool little functionalities with the badge component so I figured the badge component naturally should be the next one to cover in one of my videos. And if you find value in it, make sure you leave a comment, I try to reply to all of them and it helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm and if you want to learn more about Material UI and React make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. So the batch component is one that you might not use in every single application but in the ones that you do it's going to be extremely useful and essentially all it is is this little thing that can appear on the top of icons or divs as you can see here sort of like a notification icon that you would normally see on Facebook or something if someone left a response or actually we have a perfect example on the Matil UI uh, documentation on the top right you can see here when I had notifications here a little red bubble with two appeared inside of it and that is essentially all the badge is. So the basic use case for the badge is of course just going to be wrapped around some sort of icon to notify the user about something and the simplest way to use it is to nest the actual component you want it to show on top of within the actual um, uh, uh, badge component. So as you can see here, I'll zoom in a tiny bit, oh now it thinks I'm in mobile. So <laughs> responsiveness, the badge component here, pretty much you just pass in a prop called badge content, which displays whatever it is you want to display on top of it. So over here, they just have a hard quarter number four, but ideally if you're using this in like a real world setting where you're, for example, showing the amount of notifications the user have, this is just going to be a variable that represents that amount. Then of course you can pass in a color prop to control the color of the badge. Of course, primary is just gonna low, um, just going to be connected to the Matil UI theme color primary, uh, just like every other color prop and every other Matil UI um, component. And if you actually wanted to, to control the color to be something outside of something within the theme, you can just use the SX prop, like we talked about in my SX prop video, uh, uh, just like you would use the styles prop on any um, JSX component and just pass in the color prop and set it maybe equal to red or something, whatever you need to use it for, or the background prop. So that is pretty much uh, the basic use case for this component. You can see here they sort of test around doing different colors and of course all the colors that you can actually use from Matil UI um, are over here. So you have uh, the default which is just going to be a gray color. Then you have primary and secondary and e error info success warning all of which come from the theme and are declared in the theme and by default if you didn't make your own theme it's just going to be this sort of blue color for primary, purple for secondary, this sort of green color for success and so on. Now, the next thing we can talk about is sort of the uh, customization. So over here, you can see that they use their style components to sort of style it. And all they've really done here is they've used a method of styling it that sort of overwrites um, uh, the actual component itself, which we're going to talk about in one of my styling videos. But essentially, you don't have to worry too much about this. All they are doing is pretty much targeting one of the custom CSS classes for the uh, badge and adding, you know, a bit of custom uh, padding and a bit of custom margin to it to just make it look a bit different. This is pretty much just a way to exhibit. If you really needed to add a lot of custom stylings to it, this is one way to do it. The other way to do it is just to use the SX prop, which is probably going to be a lot easier as you can just style it the way you want to with the SX prop. So the next thing we're going to talk about is badge vi uh, visibility. So say for example, if you wanted the badge to not be shown in certain circumstances, you could pass in the invisible prop. And if the invisible prop is true, all it does is it completely hides the badge as if it were never there. And this saves you from having to write some sort of complex um, you know, conditional logic saying, oh, if the value is this, or if this circum uh, certain situation exists, then have one uh, addition where you just have the icon and one uh, condition where you just have the badge wrapped around the icon. This allows you to just keep your code nice and simple and you can just pass in that invisible prop to control whether or not you want it to be seen or not. Similarly, there's another one called show zero where if the badge content value is a number that is zero, um, it will hide it so it doesn't sort of look weird. So, so for example, in the material UI documentation, you can see here that we have no notifications because we clicked it and we viewed all of them. It's not gonna show a little badge here with zero at the top of it it just shows nothing and they are most likely using just the show zero prop that you can just pass in and if the badge content is zero and the show zero prop is passed in it will just simply hide 
uh, that badge value. Now, of course, a lot of the times if you're dealing with big numbers, you don't want the value to go on infinitely. So they have a max prop you can pass in. If, for example, your max prop is 900, 999 and you pass in a badge content of anything above that, it will just show the max and then a plus sign at the end to sort of truncate the value. Similarly, if you wanted to show a max of nine and you pass in a value of like 22, it'll just show nine and then a plus sign after that. And that's essentially how the max prop works. The next prop we have to know about is the dot badge. And this dot badge is actually the prop that they used for this little dot over here um, that they had in the badge itself. So you can see here that we don't have, you know, a number or any content inside of it. And it's a bit smaller than the normal badge because it is simply just a dot. And to do that, you just pass in the variable dot. And I believe that's the only other uh, variant you can pass in other than the default one, which is just standard um, for that prop. So if you want something small, if you want to make it look like someone's online, sort of the way Discord has it, you can pass in uh, the dot variant. And of course, we are now going to, well, the before we get to the alignment, we can talk very briefly about the overlap. It's not too crazy. Pretty much, there's two values. There's rectangular, which is the default, and circular. Essentially, what the circular prop will do is if you have an element that you are wrapping it around that isn't just, you know, a very, um, you know, square-like prop, a square-like element, like a just straight up circle, for example, passing in this overlap circular will help uh, the component find the edge of that circular component and actually have it wrap to the middle of the edge. You can see here that the um, exact middle point of the badge is on the circumference of the actual circle itself. And without that circular prop, it would sort of be off the component and a bit off centered. So it wouldn't be as easy to see. Now, of course, we're going to get to one of the most important things, which is the alignment. So to do the alignment, it's not as simple as just passing in, you know, a prop like top left or top right, bottom left, bottom right. Essentially, you pass in a prop called anchor origin, which is going to be an object. And in that object, you can set the vertical and you can set the horizontal. Of course, vertical is either going to be top or bottom and horizontal is either going to be left or right. And depending on what both of those are, you can pretty much go ahead and, you know, you can see that if I set the horizontal to right and the vertical to top, it's, you know, top right. It's not, you know, anything too crazy. And by default, of course, it is also going to be on the top right. And if we come here to the API, we can see that we've covered pretty much every single prop that um, is unique to this class. Of course, over here for the SX prop, if you're not too familiar with the SX prop, check out the video we have on it. I'll link that in the description as well. But essentially, it's just a way to pass in some stylings um, to the actual component itself in a really easy to do way. And that is pretty much it for this video. If you found value, make sure you leave a comment. I'll try to res respond to every single one. It helps a lot with the channel. And make sure if you want to learn more about React, I'm going to tell you why to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.